Okay, everybody, welcome back to Sustainability City. Today we're looking at part two. So we're going into lessons, biomes and worlds, featured worlds, sustainability city, create world, which will take us back into uh, the start of sustainability city. Now, um, in the second lesson, we're going to be looking at um, water usage. So we're going to be exploring how uh, wastewater gets from home to the water treatment plant, understand that biosolids are used in composting, and learn how outflow is treated in order to go back to the city system. Um, we're going to be looking at some examples of outflow. Uh, let's head forward to the teacher and uh, get started. Lesson number two, so our little particle sparkle things are in the right place. All right, let's kind of uh, zoom through this so you can see where to go. Uh, we're going to look at where does outflow go once it goes down the drain uh, and all those kind of things. Now, if you were with us for the first part of this, uh, you will know that this is a six-part um, lesson plan. Now, this one is a lot shorter than the last one. The first one um, was about food production, outflow reclamation, and uh, you need to talk uh, to the various different NPCs, uh, make your way through this level. Now, I advise... Um, in terms of a lesson plan for this, um, get your students to play through, through the level, get them to read all of these um, very carefully from the different um, characters. And then a flow diagram or something like that's really good, demonstrating understanding of the different uh, ways that water is treated and how it gets uh, around the um, processing stages. Um, so we're also looking at how can uh, water be treated and reused uh, removing these large materials first is essential so that pumps and pipes are not damaged and clogs, clogged during the later process. So as you can see, uh, we're speaking to these different characters. And in the background here, we're looking at the different uh, levels of treatment. So this is a weir that the water pops over the top and the low wall only lets water trickle over. So it's another processing point. Um, water is wasted in biogems and grow, eat and multiply. And um, at each stage along here in the background, you can see the water is getting clearer. So each one of these characters your students talk to is going to give you a few different keywords. And do remember that you can use uh, the immersive reader for this. So I'll give you a little example of the immersive reader. Um, you can actually get your students to click play on these and it will read it out to you, uh, making make things a little bit easier uh, for some of your students, okay? Um, making our way through. Talking about disinfection, stage where the water gets disinfected to get rid of disease and bacteria and so on. Following the sparkles, um, pretty simple. Let's let's sprint this bit. Okay, irrigation. So the water is then transported to the farm, and then here we've got a large reservoir where the water is returned to the water system. We want to produce clean water that is safe to return to the environment. So there's a big reservoir lake thing. And um, a dam over here, which is um, probably, I'd assume, used in a lesson later on about power and energy and so on. Some pretty cool uh, features up there um, that the guys at Minecraft Education have put together. It's pretty cool. So um, at this point, we turn around. So if your students get a little bit lost there, uh, tell them to turn around. We go over to biosolids. Now, uh, biosolids, and you'll find this with a lot of a lot of these parts, we visited the biosolids part in our food uh, processing section from the first lesson. Um, and again, here, we can look at the uh, biosolids. We can talk to the NPCs. And then we can uh, head back. So that was the uh, fertilizer treatment place. Um, and again, each, each of these characters will give you keywords uh, so that when the students make their flow diagrams in PowerPoint or whatever you want them to use, they can demonstrate their understanding uh, by going here. Um, have you completed your lesson? I can take you back to the town. Yes. So then, lesson completed. So a much shorter one than last time. Uh, your students can hopefully whiz through maybe lesson two and three in one go and um, fill in a little PowerPoint, just demonstrating an understanding of uh, water treatment. Uh, so if I shoot over to the website here, uh, it gives us our performance expectations. 
Okay, so it, we should be able to give examples of outflow and where this water goes. Certainly, it's demonstrated that in the lesson there. Explain how outflow can be treated and reused by farmers. Explain why treating outflow is important before reusing it. Understand basic filtration systems to be used in the classroom. Uh, so that's the uh, performance expectations there from the lesson plan that's on the website. Um, so if you were looking at going on to this, it's simply a matter, it could simply be a matter of um, asking your students those questions verbally at the end of the lesson and um, seeing if they've got any answers for you. It could be a, a case of making a flow diagram, explaining the different stages of water treatment to demonstrate understanding that way, okay? Uh, but it's certainly a nice lesson and it uh, really gets the students thinking, um, or like all of these Sustainability City lessons, it really gets the students thinking uh, about the environment and the world around them. And um, we're going to be going through lessons three to six um, over the next few months. And um, if you enjoyed today's video and you want to see what's coming up soon, do make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you all next time. Oh.